In this video, I'll show you how to add page numbers from a specific page in Word. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Here is a Word document that I want to go and add page numbers to. However, I don't want the page numbers to start until the chapter one page. So therefore, I want page one to start here. However, when I try and go and add them, page one, it goes and starts on the cover page, which is not what I want. So I've gone and found a workaround for this. However, you will need to have finished editing and just working on your Word document because we're going to go and turn it into a PDF. You can still edit PDF documents with Word. However, it's going to be easy if you have just finished with it. So now that we've got out that out of the way, the first thing we need to do is go and decide uh, which pages you want page numbers on. So in this case, I want page numbers to go and start from this page here. So then what you need to do is go and copy the content from all of the pages which you want page numbers on. So in this case, I want page numbers on this page here, chapter one, the chapter two page and chapter three. So therefore I'd go and copy all these pages. If there are more pages, I'd go and copy them as well. So I'm gonna go and highlight this all just like so. So just hold and drag down like so and right click on it and press copy. Of course, you could also go control C as well. Then what we need to do is go and create a new document, but keep this one open as well. So go to the top left and tap on file and then go and tap on new and just tap on blank document. Then what you need to do is go and paste everything you copied, which you want page numbers on. Then go right click and go and press on paste just like so. And as you can see, that's ex exactly the same. Then what we now need to do is go back to the previous document, which is this one here. And what we now need to do is go and delete everything, which we went and highlighted. So delete everything which you want to have page numbers on. So I'm gonna go and delete this now, and I'll just press back again. And now all we have left are the pages which we do not want page numbers on, okay? And on this document, we've got all the stuff which we do want page numbers on. So then what we can do is go and add page numbers to this document here and these pages here. And then what we can do is not add page numbers to this document here, and then what we can do is go and merge these. It's all going to make sense, just keep watching. So here we are on the document which I do want your page numbers on. So I'm gonna go and add them. So go to the top left and tap on insert. And then what we need to do is go and add the page numbers. So go across the page number and then go and choose where you want them. In this case, I want them at the bottom of the page. So I'll go and have them here. Uh, I'll have them in the middle, just like so. I want to go and make these a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go and highlight it like so, then go and tap on home and just go and increase the size just so it is a bit more visible, just like this, perfect. Once you've gone and added the page numbers to the document you want them on, then what we need to do is go and save this as a PDF then go to the top left and go and tap on file and then go and tap on export just down here. And what you want to do is tap on create PDF slash XPS document. So make sure you've got that selected as well. And then go and tap on publish and that should now be saved. And then what you need to do is do the same for the other document, which you do not want page numbers on. So then go to the top left and tap on file, then tap on export and go and tap on create PDF slash XPS document and go and save it and publish it like so. Then once you've done that, you can go and save your documents like so. So you could go and make sort of further changes to them if you'd like, but you'll just have to go and repeat the merging process. So now what we need to do is go onto a web browser. This can be any, could be Google Chrome, whatever you have. And then go to a search engine. And what you need to do is go and search for an online PDF merger. So just type in merge PDF online. There's a really good website called I Love PDF. I use this quite a lot. So tap here. Then what we need to do is go and tap on select PDF files like this, and we can then go and upload the files which we want to go and merge. I've now gone and uploaded them, but what's really important here is you put these in the right order. As you can see, the chapter one document is the head of this one. So just go and hold it with your left mouse button and then get it in the correct order. Then once you're happy with it, go and tap merge PDF in the bottom right like so. And as you can see, they've now been merged. And I'm then going to go and tap on download merge PDF like this, and it's now gone and downloaded. And then what I'm going to do is go and open it up like so. And as you can see, we've got our cover page, the about me page, and then chapter one, and we've got the page numbers. And as I did say in the intro to this video, it's not ideal, but you can still go uh, and edit PDFs using Word as well.